Instagram reveals its algorithm. I'm going to share that right now in front of you for the first ever time. Instagram algorithm. Would you like to learn that? Oh yeah, I definitely want to know how that things works. So please tell me. Alright, so if you are here for the first ever time, if you are watching me on the first ever time, if you are on my YouTube channel for the first ever time, this is Digital Pratik, your host and those who keeps on learning and applying every single day something new in digital space and then sharing with you every single day. Most of the times I share that one minute clip, one minute rant on Instagram every single day. As you can see over here, I keep on posting two to three unique pieces of content every single day. If you're watching this particular thing on YouTube right now as a YouTube video, then you might see something parallelly on Instagram as well regarding this one where I'll put up every single piece of content in a unique fashion there won't be any repeat information but it would be in a new style it would be in Instagram native platform so keep on learning applying and sharing every single day that is what my motive is and the place where I keep on updating every single minute or every single second is Instagram stories so if you haven't checked out do check out my Instagram stories it is live with video transitions and super duper awesome killer Instagram stories which I am known for. So do check out my Instagram profile over here. Follow me on Instagram and I look forward to see you in one of the Instagram stories. But now for the while, let's just concentrate on this particular thing. The reason why you are watching me right now, the reason why you have opened up this video on YouTube is because you want to know how Instagram algorithm is working. Now, people have searched this up plenty of times previously as well. But now, for the first ever time in the history since the Instagram app has launched, this is the first ever time on 4th June, all right, on 4th June 2018, Instagram finally revealed how they are working from their end, all right? Till now, what happened was, wherever you are seeing the videos like Instagram algorithm hack or Instagram algorithm, this is, this is how it is working or X, Y, Z, Till this point in time, whosoever is shooting this video, including me, even I have done that kind of video, but till point, till this point in time, whosoever has recorded or shot that kind of video is because they are a practitioner. Just like me, I'm an Instagram practitioner. So whatever I feel, I just share it with you. And let's suppose if somebody else is doing the same, they might share their experience. And based upon that, whatever the rumor or whatever the information is, till now on YouTube is based on that information. So now for the first ever time, Instagram as a company has given information on how their algorithm is working. And that is what we're gonna discuss. So Instagram algorithm 2018, as of now we are watching this, I am shooting this particular thing. I don't know when you are watching this video. Probably you might be watching this particular video in 2019, all right? But I have shot this video on 6th of June, 2018. To be specific, right now, it's almost like if I'm seeing the clock, it's 11.44 p.m. Yeah, almost midnight. And because of that, you are just hearing that silence in the background, all right? <laughs> so coming back to this over here, Instagram algorithm 2018. To the point, if I tell you, it depends upon three things. It focuses upon three different things. Number one is interests. Number two is timeliness. Number three is relationships. Now relationships, I would just treat that as engagement. I have just shot previous videos on engagement, how important engagement is and what is real engagement. Not just crappy little autobots commenting on your Instagram posts. I'm talking about real engagement. Coming back to this, I'll tell you what interest, timeliness and relationships matters when we talk about the Instagram algorithm in 2018. So if we talk about the Instagram feed or the home feed where your followers are looking into your content or they will see your content is all now personalized based on what they like. All right, what are their interests? So for you, if we talk about whosoever you are following, all right, if you are, let's suppose if you are following, uh, let's say if you are following some celebrity, if you are following Tom Cruise on Instagram, or let's say if you are following The Rock on Instagram, then it doesn't mean that you will only see or you will only see all the posts from The Rock. It doesn't mean that you will see what you have been liking. If you are liking some travel photographs, then you might see travel photographs and travel content all of a sudden. If you are liking some fitness content, all of a sudden you will see, you will notice this on search page, you'll start seeing some fitness content as well. So it doesn't matter whom you are following, what matters is who you are liking or what kind of content you are liking on Instagram. And based upon that, your home feed would be just filled up. So Instagram algorithm tries to predict what you are liking. And based upon that, they are trying to show up 
as much relevant content as possible on your Instagram feed. And the content which they are trying to show you depends upon these three parameters, interest, timeliness, and relationships. So let's jump into individual ones, step by step, one by one. So what interests mean? Interest is all about Instagram thinking about you how much you care for particular piece of content. So let's suppose, let's take an example of Instagram uh, explore page, the explore page on which let's say you search something. So that page is known as explore page. If you are new to Instagram, that is an explore page. If you tap on search, that page is completely known as explore page. So that page particularly, how does it fill up? Let's suppose right now go into your Instagram and just search for any fitness post and tap on that and just view that content and then try to just double tap, try to like or try to maybe comment. And once you start engaging on a fitness content, all of a sudden within a few minutes or within a few hours, your explore page would just completely fill up. Not completely. I'm saying if it was 20%, then 30% or 50% or 70% would all be fitness content. So that is what matters. Instagram thinks or Instagram just now has information about you interacting with content which is related to fitness. So Instagram thinks that you are interested and you care about some post with respect to fitness. Now it doesn't happen over the night for one post. If you are continuously doing same activity for various different categories, then Instagram will start popping up or Instagram will start feeding up all your explore page with similar type of content, whether you are following them or not. So that is what is interest. Second is timeliness. Now what is timeliness? Second is timeliness. So what is timeliness? It is all about how long a piece of content was being posted. So let's suppose if somebody is posting a content today and you are not interacting on that, but later on after one week, once again, some content is there, then this one week old content might not be in your home feed anymore because it might be outdated. So Instagram is now giving importance to timeliness, which is fresh piece of content, new piece Piece of content so make sure if you are a regular practitioner of Instagram if you are trying to put a piece of content and you are trying to build loyal audience bring more followers who are engaging on your content make sure what you are doing is you regularly post unique piece of content if not daily then at least do it other day one or the other day but I would recommend do it every single day because on Instagram the attention period is so 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 less people are like scrolling here and there, scrolling here and there and to bring your account into their consideration in that fast pace of world of mobile phone it's very tough so you have to make sure that you post frequently if you are posting daily try to make it two to three unique pieces of content every single day Try small and then scale big. Go small, scale big. Try one piece of content every single day, followed by two and then three. I personally am doing it two to three unique pieces of content every single day. I just make sure I bring value to people every single day by that piece of content because my followers might be global. If somebody from US is watching my content, I might be posting, I'm from India, so I might be posting that piece of content maybe at nine o'clock in the morning, but that nine o'clock in the morning might be somewhere around 9.30 p.m. in the US. So due to time difference, I have to make sure I put up the piece of content wherein it regulates between the 24 hour format. So if I'm now posting 9 p.m., it might be somewhere around 8.30 in the morning at the US, in the US and various different countries. So I try to make posts uh, somewhere around in the morning, that is nine, uh, nine, somewhere around eight to nine in the morning. Then I put up a piece of content probably somewhere in the noon, two to 3 p.m. And then at night, somewhere around eight to 10 p.m. I just make sure that I combine these three timings so that it revolves in various different categories. Also, you can go into your insights and check when your audience is most active upon. If you can see that timing after a certain period of time, then try to post based on that thing. Don't go to any blog and search for the best piece of time or the best posting time on Instagram. No, that is just a survey. You yourself have to decide for your Instagram account. You can just go into your free insights tool on Instagram and check the same. And last but not the least is relationships. How do you know this person? That is what Instagram thinks. So let's suppose if I'm putting up a piece of content every single day, three times a day, every single day. But now if nobody's interacting on my content, let's suppose if you are never ever liking or sharing or commenting on my content, probably my content won't be shown as frequent as compared to somebody who is always commenting on my content, always liking my content, turning on the post notification and things like that. So as compared to this person who is regularly engaging on my piece of content versus you never ever coming to my content, this person would have 
higher engagement ratio for my content and that is where Instagram thinks that the relationship of this person with my account is higher as compared to you with my account so you won't be shown my content that much frequently even though you might be following me so that is where relationships matter how do you know this person how much you are engaging on a piece of content of somebody else so let's suppose if you are not seeing somebody else's content as a viewer then try to go to their account manually and comment on their posts or like on their couple of posts then you'll start seeing their content on your home feed and you being a practitioner you like me who is regularly posting content what you should be doing is try to bring value to your audience and then try to engage them in the conversation try something like that in caption that hey comment uh, below what are your thoughts share your ideas if it was helpful type yes in the comments below or something like tag three friends and you can just run Instagram contest which is an old technique by the way so now you can just start making conversations healthy conversations with your audience in a nice way but before that first bring value because for them to engage on your content you first have to make them sure first you have to build that trust first you have to bring that relationship with them via your content so bring value to them and automatically they'll start engaging on your content and that is where all three of them will fit together and your piece of content or your account will go higher and higher and higher in the Instagram algorithm and that is the best way now in 2018 after this Instagram algorithm update for getting more followers, getting more organic followers, getting more loyal, real followers. Now there are these three different things which also matters in this new Instagram update, Instagram algorithm update. So that is frequency, following and usage. Now I've already mentioned about frequency, how frequently you are posting based on the timeliness and relationships over here. I have already mentioned that. And now following what is following if you as a user are following a lot of people then then for Instagram it would be difficult for their content to be published in your home feed so if you are following let's say 4,000 5,000 people then all those people whom you are following all that content would be very tough for Instagram to just buy forget that what you might be interested upon so try to follow less people or try to follow only relevant people don't just follow every single person randomly and last but not the least it's usage how much more you are using Instagram if your account is using Instagram more and more Instagram will think that yes this account is probably using my platform very well so let me just try to dig more into his account and let me just buy forget for him a little bit nice home feed so that is what is interest timeliness relationships frequency following and usage now apart from this uh, Instagram algorithm update there were a few questions which are posted on uh, one of the blogs from later and on that blog all this Instagram algorithm update is there so you can just click on the link below this video in the description box I'll just link up that blog article you can go through the entire article but there are a few questions which I would like to address over here which are from that blog post number one is if you try to switch from personal account to business account will that matter or will that make your posts reach out to more people no the answer is plain and simple no there is no difference between the personal profile and business profile both of them all depend upon this factors if you are regularly making sure that you fall into these categories nicely your post will reach out to more people whether you are a personal profile or a business profile now this particular question is a huge one people are not often enough think that just because video content is consumed a lot if we try to post videos more and more on Instagram then our account would grow all of a sudden exponentially but that is not true based upon this new Instagram algorithm update where they have answered this question if you are posting more videos it might just blow up your Instagram account when I say blow up your Instagram account that means it might just grow your Instagram account but it is not compulsion if you are posting images still you can grow exponentially it all depends upon how your audience is interacting with that if your audience if or, or if all your followers who are following you are mostly most of the times engaging on somebody else's image piece of content then your videos won't matter to them because once again as we discussed over here interests how much you care for content how much your followers are caring for content what type of content they are interacting with if they are interacting with more and more image content then your videos won't be show won't be showing up in their feed so it would be useless for you you'll have to capture more new followers and then you will be able to see more video content to them so it all depends upon how your user is engaging how your followers are engaging 
on Instagram, not on your account, on Instagram first, and then they will start seeing your content, whether it's image or video. So try to keep a mix of image and video content on your Instagram profile. That is what my advice would be. Personally, I'm posting somewhere around 70 to 80% video content and 20 to 30% of image content. And I know I have just uh, tried this since past couple of months. My audience is more engaging on video content. And that is where I'm now posting my frequency or that is where I'm increasing my frequency of posting video content more as compared to my image content. So try to figure out for your Instagram account and then decide whether video content is good for your account or image content. First, just keep a mix and then increase or decrease the ratio. This one is another one great piece of question and answered by Instagram. Number one question right now is a uh, lot of people are saying that or a lot of people were telling this that including me, all right, including me. So what we used to think is uh, if we use new features on Instagram, then our Instagram account would be shown more and more to our followers. What I mean by that is if you let's say if there is an update on Instagram story live when Instagram story live came into picture then people started doing live stories or people started doing live videos so if somebody is doing live videos that is a new feature which they are using so their account would be blown away their account would be good enough in Instagram algorithm then another thing which people might be thinking is if there is an update in Instagram stories let's suppose the recent update which is like GIF stickers or there are plenty of other features pencil blah 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 here and there if you are using more location tags all of these things if you're doing then your Instagram account would grow but that is not true if you are still using just only small pieces of content still you can grow the only way you can grow is great piece of content as you can see over here this is something which is posted on later.com all right so you have to make sure you are posting great piece of content there is no way out there is no way out because if you are posting great piece of content you will make sure all of these you will make sure that it is interesting to your audience you will make sure that you are timeliness you will make sure that you have a relationship you will make sure that you get good amount of engagement you will make sure that you have a good frequency you will make sure that somebody who is following you is interested in that What's in interest and you will make sure that you are using more and more Instagram that is the greatest way that is the only way out right now great content you cannot skip that part you cannot have any particular hack right now all right that is what is there now probably when you are watching this video if you are watching this in 2019 the game might have changed I am telling you this based upon what is the new update on Instagram algorithm in June 2018 specifically to me it is 6th of June 2018 and right now as of now it is like when I started it was 11.44 right now it is somewhere around 12.05, 12.10 so it's already 7th June 2018 it's almost midnight right so make sure you Consider all the new Instagram algorithm updates depending upon when you're watching this particular session. Another one which was a term known as shadow ban. Now there was a term known as shadow ban in which people used to think that if they post the same hashtags again and again, again and again, again and again, then their account might be just shadowed. Their account might not be considered for growth from Instagram algorithm, but that is not true. Instagram has just mentioned that it is not at all bad in using Instagram hashtags. You can still use Instagram hashtags, but only thing which they are telling is try to use relevant Instagram hashtags. Don't just try to put up every single piece of hashtags. Just don't try to use all those crappy little hashtags. If your content is based upon, let's say Instagram, don't try to put up hashtags as hashtag love, hashtag me, hashtag sex. They are useless, all right? So try to make it relevant. Try to make it relevant hashtag based upon what content you are producing. So that's all we have for this particular session, this particular video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this particular one in the comments below this video. I like the conversation. I would just be grateful if you can just ping me up in the comments or you can just DM me on Instagram. Here is my profile. Once again, I'll link up in the description below this video. So you can just tap on that and follow me on Instagram. That is the best place to get connected with me because I put up content every single day. I'll reply to each and every single DM because over there, people who ask me DM, I just put up a video answer by replying to their DM. So you ask Digital Pratik, he will give you video answers. And with that being said, this is Digital Pratik, your host in those signing off from this particular video. I'll see you in the next one in some another episode. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, take care, bye bye. And as always, guys, stay awesome, God bless, and hasta la vista.
if you have missed out on the previous one do check out this video latest video from digi performs youtube channel do check out over there and if you haven't subscribed to these channels tap on the individual logos subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification and i look forward to see you in the next ones and yes this is how i record it's all natural